Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Bruce Ellis, and this is the Insider Report. So sit back, relax, and let your ears do the walking as I fill you in on what's going on in the area this weekend and beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. The first one of the year. Here we go. And unfortunately, Cat was unable to make it in, so the cat is away, so I gets to play all by myself, man. All by myself. Yeah, here we go. But that's all right. It's not like I, we were talking a few weeks back about how I think I did this like for three years or something before Cat, you know, we finally turned around to a co-host, which is a great thing, but did it all the time. So I'm used to talking to myself anyways. So, you know, the voices in my head keep me company so everybody's happy. No, But hey, hope everybody had a good shoot. We Yeah, we missed the Christmas show, last week's show, because yeah, I went down for the count and Cat couldn't come in or Jason, they couldn't get in here and do it. And so we apologize for missing last week's show, but uh, I got hit with the rocking pneumonia and the boogie woogie flu or something crazy. Now I have this, uh, I was just telling the producer, I got this thing that hits me. It's almost like a malaria timing. It's not a malaria type thing, but it, it hits me, individual, all by myself. And uh, man, it takes me out. I get the shivers really bad. And I mean, I woke up on Christmas Eve morning. Everything was beautiful all the way up to the point. That's how it rolls. And then I got the shivers big time for about, oh, 45 minutes. I sat there and just like shook. I mean, where it's like, you know, it hurt, man, to stand up and stuff like that because it's shaking so much. And then I'm just tired. No fever, no appetite, no nothing. Just down for the count like the body's just like, like you know, wrap me up in a little cocoon and, and heal, you know, and that's what it does. And it's, what's really funny about it is it lasts one day or it lasts me a week. But this time it did its groove thing, and Beth came and got Junior and had him over there. So he had a great Christmas Eve at her house. They watched movies and hey, drank cocoa and had all kinds of fun and everything like that. And he got to open a couple presents. And uh, meanwhile, I'm laying there just boom, <laughs> watching Christmas shows. It's like down for the count, laying there, passing in and out and everything like that, because that's what this stuff does. But I told her, I go, I will be there tomorrow at 9 o'clock in the morning and watch. I'll be doing just fine. And I was, I was able to do it and that was cool. So I had Christmas day over there and we all had a blast and did the, that, uh, he, Junior just, it was nerve central by the time we were done, man. We got barriers, we got vests, we got 22 guns, we got all kinds of stuff. It was just, uh, it was like, yeah, it was a nerf Christmas. That's for sure. So I hope everybody did have a great Christmas out there. And then we brought in the new year. Hope everybody had a safe and happy New Year's coming into it and everything. And uh, yeah, we taping on Monday here. So uh, it's the day after and I'm feeling good. Had a good time last night. We celebrated there and everything with some friends. And uh, yeah, it was a beautiful thing. And, and of course, Nerf Wars was going on as well. So yeah, that's how it went down. And we got some stuff going on here. This month, January, it's a little bit slower than most of the other months, you know, with like shows and all that, but we've still got stuff going on. So before we get going, I'd like to thank Trike City Dispensary, the Oregon South Coast Fishermen, otherwise known as the Castaways, Just the Jeweler, and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows there at KCIW, all you got to do is go to kciw.org and you will be on your way. Yes, indeedy. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start out with a little music schedule. Cisco and Daltrey, they'll be playing on the 6th, the 13th, the 20th, and 27th at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market from 11 a.m. to 2.30. And then on the 31st, you'll find them at the Checkco Activity Center, 11 a.m. to 1.30. Tortuga Mexican Restaurant on the 19th, they'll have a ranch party up there at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. The Mighty Steelheads will be playing on the 19th at the Inateca in Crescent City at 8 p.m. Ranch Party will be playing at the Brookings Elks Lodge on the 5th, 7 to 9, and then once again on the 19th at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant, 6 to 8. And the Elk Valley Casino's got some stuff coming up in the Betty Green Center. They've got on the 13th, Journey Revisited, Don't Stop Believing. That'll be happening at 8 p.m. On the 27th, they've got stand-up comedy with Kabir Singh from America's Got Talent at 8 p.m. And that'll be on the 27th. And then on the Warriors Bar and Grill, music always starts at 7 p.m. On the 5th and 6th, they got Steve Burke. 
On the 12th and the 13th, we got Jesse Mead. On the 19th and the 20th, we got Robert Tiernan. And on the 26th and 27th, it's Hannah Paysinger. And then P.A. and T. Roy will be jamming on the 20th at Coon Tie from 6 to 8. Mike Powell will be playing on the 12th at the Brookings Elks Lodge, 7 to 9. And then on the 19th, he'll be at Chetco Brewing Company, 6 to 8. The Oxen Free Public House on the 9th, they got Greg Russell playing at 8. And then on the 23rd, we got Open Mic with James DeBottis at 8 p.m. So very cool. That's what's happening on the music scene. See, I told you it was a little short one, though. We usually have two pages there, and it's it's just one page. Hey, Four Castle Books and Gallery, located at 553 Checo Avenue, is presenting the Spoken Word Open Mic. This is featuring original poetry and prose. This will be happening on the 11th at 545 p.m. Redfish Piano Trio is in concert on the 11th through 14th on the Oregon coast. Thursday the 11th, they'll be at Port Orford Lutheran Church, 7 p.m. On Friday, January 12th, they'll be at the North Bend Presbyterian Church, 7 p.m. On Saturday, January 13th, they'll be in Crescent City Cultural Center at 2 p.m. And this is featuring music by Beethoven, Haydn, Tarina, and Higdon. Tickets are $20 for adults, 18 and under are free. For advanced tickets, and info, go to www.redfishmusicfestival.com. And then Lucky 7 Casino is presenting Comedy Night with headliner Steve Bruner. This is happening on the 13th at 7 p.m. Feature act is Jim Farrell. He opens for the headliner. And Steve has been seen regularly in comedy clubs, televised shows, and appearances across the country. Doors open at 7 p.m. with the show starting at 8 at the Tolowa Event Center. Now, tickets are on sale online or at the door. You can purchase tickets at www.eventbrite.com. Now, of course, it's a casino, so you must be 21 years or older to attend this event. And for info, you can call 707-487-7777. Lucky 7 Casino. There you go. Hey, we've got quotes with Cousin Bruce. Here we go. I had one written that I didn't do last week, and it was the guy born You know, this cat was born on the 25th. So here are a few quotes from Sir Isaac Newton. He was born December 25th, 1642. He says, what we know is a drop. What we don't know is an ocean. He says, the tact is the art of making a point without making an enemy. Truth is ever to be found in the simplicity and not in the multiplicity and the confusion of things. And last but not least, he says, no great discovery was ever made without a bold guess. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from, hey, Sir Isaac Newton with Cousin Bruce. Till next week, have a great one. Yes, indeed, always a good time. The Brookings Emblem Club, number 265, is having a membership social. The Brookings Emblem Club 265 invites the public to stop by their membership social on January 13th between... 4 to 8 p.m. at the Brookings Elks Lodge. This is located at 800 Elk Drive in Brookings, Oregon. Emblem Club members support local charities and serve the community through volunteerism and fundraising all year round. Discover how you can join their team and give to those in need. Hey, you can enjoy refreshments and enter to win a gift basket. Hey, at Elk Valley Casino at 2021 Elk Ranch Road in Crescent City is presenting Journey Revisited. Oh, yeah. As I said earlier, this is on the 13th at 8 p.m. in light of classic rock and nostalgia at the renowned Betty Green Event Center. Journey Revisited takes the stage, recreating the essence of one of the greatest American bands of all time, Journey. Tickets are on sale now at www.etix.com slash tickets. And the doors open at 7 p.m. and the show starts at 8 And, of course, casino must be 21 or older to attend. I got to see Journey. I was lucky enough to see them twice when I was in the 80s. Let's see. How old was I? That's right. 79, 80, yeah, in that area. Yeah. That was fun. Hey, the 101 Bar and Grill is presenting Micromania Midget Wrestling. They're back. That's right. On the 14th. 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Micromania Midget Wrestling is a high-powered, explosive athletic pro wrestling show with just the right touch of comedy thrown in to make for an unforgettable big event. 
not necessarily big people. <laughs> These five foot and under micro athletes may be short in stature, but are giants in the world of entertainment where they will keep you on your feet screaming from the opening bell through the main event. Age restrictions, 21 and plus, it's a bar. Doors open at 6, showtime at 7. There is general admission, you, and as I said, you must be 21 or older. I saw them a few years back when they came, a little pinky shortcake, that's right. She was with them at that time and everything, so uh, good times, very cool. It was good to be the press because I got to get pictures with them and everything like that, and yeah, I got some classic, got a nice story and all that good stuff. It was fun, but it was a blast. Hey, Danaka is presenting Ji Yoon Kim at Crescent Elk Auditorium, located at 994 G Street in Crescent City. This is happening on the 27th at 3 p.m. Danaka presents the third concert of the 2023-24 performance series with Ji Yoon Kim, featuring a blending of poetry and music. Ji Yoon delights audience with a sparkling combination of sensitive artistry, broad emotional range, and impeccable technique in her innovative concert experiences. This concert will include video, poetry, piano, and incredible true life stories. This will be a special matinee performance. Tickets are now available online at denaka.eventbrite.com and after January 5th at the Del Norte Office Supply in Crescent City. General ticket admission is $20. Seniors are 18. Students are 15. Any remaining tickets will also be available at the door. So don't panic. You might be able to still get in and see her. So sounds pretty cool. Hey, Curry Public Library, located at 94341 3rd Street in Gold Beach, is presenting Memory Cafe Curry. Memory Cafe Curry will meet the third Wednesday of every month from 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Curry Public Library in Gold Beach. To register for the program, please email memorycafe at cplib.net or call 541-247-7246. A Memory Cafe is an informal social gathering for older adults living with memory loss and their care partners. Care partners may include, but are not limited to spouses, siblings, children, or friends, whose social lives are often just as affected as their loved ones. Memory cafes are designed to be a casual, stress-free gathering to allow care partners an opportunity to relax and socialize with others in their same situation. Memory cafe will be staffed by a qualified social service provider, library staff, and volunteers. So that sounds very cool. That's something new. I saw that, and I wanted to make sure and get it in. Moving right along here, the Friends of Music Concert Series is presenting the Bay Area Quintet. This is happening at the Seventh-day Adventist Church, located at 102 Park Avenue in Brookings. On January 21st, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., Bay Area musicians Tanya Tompkins, cello, and Eric Zivian, the Fort Piano, began exploring the Beethoven cello sonatas on period instruments in 2000. Tanya was just back from many years in Europe, eager to perform more classical and romantic music on the instruments for which it was written. Eric was excited to collaborate with her and began to immerse himself in the specialized study of performing on period pianos. Over the next few years, they purchased two beautiful historical pianos and began producing concerts in Bay Area residents featuring artists from all around the world. The admission is just $20, and students 18 and under are always free. Tickets are available for purchase at the door and online. For more information, you can email them at info at p-p-a-d-e-l-n-o-r-t-e dot o-r-g. Hey, VFW Legacy Bricks Fundraiser. This is a PSA for the VFW Post. They're raising money to fix its building, upgrade its heating, electricity, and improve its landscape. They have raised approximately 30000 but need another 20000 to complete the work. They are selling legacy bricks that will highlight the entrance of the building of featuring messages of memory to veterans respected by their loved ones. Each brick will cost the donor $100, and every purchased brick will be laid professionally in front of the post for everyone to observe. They will also conduct more yard sales, provide meals for a nominal donation, and sponsor other groups and their activities. Once the building is completed, the VFW Post 966 will serve the veterans and community of Brookings. They are active in the Brookings community, a member of the Brookings Chamber of Commerce, and supporter of the Brookings City Council. They support the veterans, providing ceremonies, funerals, and memorials. The VFW Post 966 is a 501c19 nonprofit group 
with all members being veterans of foreign wars. Their national charter began in 1939, and they have approximately 20 million members throughout the United States. Veterans Post 966 is located at 507 Pacific Avenue in Brookings, right there across from the high school. Hey, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. G'day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know that the military tried to create a bomb that could cause tsunamis? It's true. Here's the story. The tsunami bomb was an attempt during World War II to develop a Teutonic weapon that could create destructive tsunamis. The project commenced after U.S. Navy officer E.A. Gibson noticed small waves generated by explosions used to clear coral reefs. Well, the idea was developed by the United States and New Zealand military in a program code named Project SEAL. Tests were conducted by Professor Thomas Leach of the University of Auckland in Wangaparoa, off the coast of Auckland and off New Caledonia between 1944 and 45. British and U.S. defense chiefs were eager to see it developed, and it was considered potentially as important as the atomic bomb. It was expected to cause massive damage to coastal cities or coastal defenses. The weapons was only tested using small explosions and never on a full scale. After 3,700 test explosions were conducted over a seven-month period, the test revealed that a single explosion would not produce a tsunami but concluded that 4,400,000 pounds of explosive about five miles off the coast could create a destructive wave. Well, no figure. Details of the experiment's code Project Seal were released to the public by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade in 1999 and are available at the archives in New Zealand in Wellington and the Scripps Institution of Oceanography Archives in San Diego, California. A 1968 research report sponsored by the U.S. Office of Naval Research addressed that this hypothesis of coastal damage due to large explosion generated waves, and they found that theoretical and experimental evidence showing it to be relatively inefficient in wave making potential, with most wave energy dissipated by breaking on the continental shelf before reaching the shore. So the project was scrapped and supposedly never used. However, Analysis of the declassified documents by 1999 University of Waikato suggested that the weapon might be viable. I hope you enjoy this week's bit of history with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Until next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. So in other words... What they're saying there is, yeah, that might have worked, actually. And they just let nobody know about it. But hey, what a heck of a deal. Let's cause a tsunami, man. I mean, and just devastate a whole dang community because that's what waves do. That's, that's crazy talking. I hope no Dr. Evil's out there get a hold of that stuff because we don't need that. Hey, there is game night at the Whimsical Griffin. This is at 615 Chetco Avenue by the Redwood Theater. Tuesdays and Fridays, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and board games. Meals on Wheels is looking for volunteers. Meals on Wheels are needing volunteer drivers. They deliver about 75 hot meals daily to seniors that can get to the Checo Activity Center for the daily meals served there. They have a harbor route and a Brookings route. There is a perfect opportunity for anyone out there that wants to give back to the community and be a friendly face to deliver a hot meal and a little kindness to our local seniors. Whether you are interested in doing a day, a week, or a month, all volunteers are welcome. Please contact Debbie Lutz at 714-423-9797. Hey, Brookings Harbor Boy Scouts of America, scouting for new troop members. I'm putting this drive out there because you know what? I've been seeing them when I go by and they're getting out and it looks like they're getting quite a few scouts coming on board. So I hope we're helping out because boys and girls are invited. Troop 32 and Troop 4032 are now accepting new scouts as well as adults interested in volunteering. Scouts are able to join the troops from fifth grade to age 17. Adults are able to volunteer as long as they're over 21 years old, are able to pass a background check, and willing to spend about an hour and a half completing a youth protection training course. 
They meet at Scout Hall, 7 p.m. to 8.30 every Monday night, except on holidays. You can meet the troops and learn more about what the Scouts can help you achieve. Scout Hall is located at 414 Azalea Park Road in Brickings, Oregon. And here's their phone number, the Troop 32, Scoutmaster Mark Hagman. He's at 541-661-2749. And Troop 4032, Scoutmaster Rebecca Wilson. Get her at 707-951-3647. So, I'd like to see some happy troops throughout the areas. Yes, indeed. Beautiful. Hey, Fog and Fine Art Gallery is located in Wright's Custom Framing and Art Supply at 810 Checo Avenue in Brookings. The gallery features 36 local artists in a variety of mediums and a classroom to inspire new and seasoned artists with workshops. You can stop by and enjoy all that's new in the gallery open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday. For more information on class offerings, painting demonstrations, and artists can call 541-469-7900 or visit them at Facebook at Wright's Custom Framing. Hey, and in the Brookings MS Self-Help Support Group conversation and support for people living with MS, multiple sclerosis, you can join others living with MS to talk, share experiences of successfully living and coping daily with MS. You can share information and resources in a positive atmosphere. Topics will focus on areas of interest to the group members. This group is for people with MS, family, friends, and caregivers. You can please reach out prior to attending with an email to AudreyMS18 at AOL.com. And you can find them on Facebook at MS Walk and Rollers. Meetings are on the second Tuesday of the month at 11 a.m. at the Checkco Community Library Annex Building across the street from the library, located at 402 Alder Street in Brookings. And we got a community kitchen schedule here going on. Mondays at St. Timothy's, 11 a.m. to noon for the brunch. Tuesdays are at St. Timothy's, noon to one. Wednesdays are at the Star of the Sea Catholic Church, noon to one. Thursdays, uh, Presbyterian Church, noon to one. Fridays, the Lutheran Church, noon to one. First, third, and fifth Saturdays, St. Timothy's, noon to one. Second and fourth Saturdays are at the Church of Nazarene, noon to one. And then Sundays at St. Timothy's 3 to 4. You can also find the community kitchen schedule at kciw.org. And if you are out there and you are listening to this and you know of something different or one of the schedules changed or anything that I've announced has changed, please contact us. You can email me either directly at captaincurry541 at gmail.com or you can get in touch at kciw.org and let them know, leave a message there with them, and they'll make sure and contact me and we will straighten this stuff out if anything is not right. And I made it all the way through here, barely. Man, I hadn't done the show by myself in a long time. Missed a week, you know. It's like, yeah, it's all good, though. The show must go on, as always. So I hope everybody out there, you have a happy new year. And I hope we all have a great one this year. And things just straighten out for the better. And, yeah, yeah, and uh, Chrissy got some events going on this year. We're all ready for all the ones we did last year, and let's do it again. So we're going to provide some fun starting in June, and that's when all the stuff starts rocking and rolling. Anyways, around here, the events kick into gear when the weather does, but uh, we're looking forward to it. We'll get a schedule out here in the next month or two, and for all the vendors out there, we are getting the uh, vendor forms together and all that good stuff. Like I said, we sent out... We sent out a calendar to everybody already, so all the vendors know what's going on. And if you don't, well, we'll be posting it pretty soon, too. We just want to put together some fine stuff on there so you can read more about it. And then we'll get it posted on Facebook, in the paper, and out to you. So we're going to have some fun again this summer. But meantime, kind of enjoying the quiet every weekend. It's kind of nice. <laughs> it's Nerf Wars at the house. Like I said, it's Nerf Wars on a daily basis. So, hey, before we get going here, I want to say please support local businesses. Remember to always support local. Support them local mom and pop shops and everything like that. That's what keeps the community going and everybody happy and nice rotation going on. Beautiful. Yeah. So time to close out this week's show. Before I go, I want to give a shout out to our fearless producer brother, Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. And I want to thank you all for tuning into this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM 
and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. And you can even catch some fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report. All you got to do is go to kciw.org, and while you're there, check out the live streaming as well. So until next week, hey, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis signing off. Keep it real. Spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll see you out there. Bam! The Lone Man. Use the credits for the preceding show, go to kciw.org slash credits.